Hey guys, uh, Paul Nicholson here. I'm going to quickly show you how you can use your own URL, your own domain name uh, to share bitty links um, and get all the stats and the information that you want from from bitty. Um, most of you all, if you're watching this video, will know what, what it is. You can obviously share a shorter version. It's a shorter URL. Uh, it's a URL shortener. Um, so if I go, my current website is paulnicholson.com. So obviously that's quite long. And if I click shorten, it'll give me this bitty link I can share on Twitter or whatever, right? So bitty down, it gives this code. So I can share it. But then what I can do when I log in is see how many people have clicked on it, see which four, um, platforms have clicked on it. And it gives me more stats. But I don't want to use bit.ly. I'm going to use my own. So when I share something, I'm going to share it under my own uh, domain name. So I could I could use to sh copy the link my dot but that's obviously going to be very long um, to use on Twitter or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to um, I'm a GoDaddy reseller, so I re recommend GoDaddy for registering domain names. Um, if you come to hosting.paulnicholson.com or happymehosting.com, you'll come to me and I'll get a little bit of money if you sign up. I'm going to try and find a shorter URL domain name. So I think Paul PNUK, PNUK.co is available, right? So for six six pounds sixty nine, I'm gonna buy this domain name. Continue, continue. I passed all these added extras it wants. Uh, turning pros expiring soon. I'm not gonna do that yet. One year for six nine. There's obviously taxes and stuff. I'm gonna proceed to check out and place my order. So I've bought a a domain name for like eight pound, whatever you can get it for, wherever else. Um, and then I'm going to go to that domain once it's set up and, uh, what was it? P N U K dot co and manage it. So I've got a short URL that I want to use. I've, um, got to now set up it to forward to uh bitty right so what i'm going to do is sign up for bitty uh, i have got an account but i'll just create a new one paul at paulnicholson.com if you want to email me about anything uh try and put in a password without saying it out loud which is what i've done in a previous video i am not a robot or at least i don't think i am you create an account Start creating bitty links. So now I've got an account, I can start straight away. What I'm going to do is go to settings. Sorry, up the top here. The obviously menu, settings, advanced settings, branded short domains, and then add a branded short domain. So you'll see here, set your DNS A record to make your branded domain point to 641 and 641, right. So it is a little bit of a time since I've done it. So what you're gonna do, this, you do the second point, if you want it to be like this, see name at bitty.com, um, you, can, you can use this, but if you want to make sure the main one is uh, pointing to your new domain name, let me just see. So it is set up, right? So the A record needs to point to that IP address I've just copied and save. So let me just check that. Six and six. I don't know what that means. And record to make your brand new short name point to. Okay, well, I've only got one A record, so I'm going to verify it. Oh, configure pnuk.co. 
Invalid user email not verified. All oh, right, so they've emailed me, right? If my email was working. So I may just cut out here as I log into my email just in case there's anything uh, private that my friends would not want me to share. Updates, bitty support, verify your email. Verify your email, right? And then, oh, oh, it took me there itself, didn't it? Didn't take me to where I wanted to go though. So, now will it let me in? Verified. Your brand new short name is being verified. It says up here, verified. Default is that. So, branded short, read that your URL. Remove a brand new short name until your email is verified. Right, well, I've verified it, so. As you can see, I'm trying to do it live and it's been a while since I've done it. But you'll also see it's free as well, so. Are we on? There we go now. So default domain is now pnuk.co. So, <laughs> uh, if I go, I've got a Chrome browser add-on. I'm going to sign in with my Bitty account, which is uh, da, 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 da. I really have to stop myself. Um, allow it on there, reading my password out loud, right? So what it'll do now? See up there, pn.co, and then a then a Bitty click. So if if I go to paulnicholson.com. <coughs> And I pick out, oh, if I type it in right, if I type in, so if I go to, say I've got, I've got some ebooks in the membership section. If I go to time management and motivation. So they obviously the URLs quite long. So I click on the bitty link. You can actually click um, share Oh, well, this is changing. So I've, okay, share, right? To Twitter. You can connect your Twitter account. So let's connect. I'll just show you exactly all one time. Uh, it kicked me out, didn't it? So let me go back to that. Oh, it was there. Right. <laughs> so now let me just refresh it. I've got obviously this URL at the top, it's very long. If I go to share, it's gonna say Twitter, Paul Nicholson, me, your tweet is gonna be, I used to pick up the, I used to pick up the title, time management ebook. Right, and if I tweet that, your link has been shared. So if I come to Twitter, Go to time management ebook. Now, Twitter, when you put the link at the end, actually gets rid of it. Um, but it will have just shared this. Um, if I put hashtag new, new book, something like that, right? Then I think it will show. Tweeted. You can see it's a while since I've sort of done it new. So now you'll see. That's a bit of a Twitter tip. If you put the link at the end of the tweet, then it actually cuts it off because it knows it's pointing to that. Um, but if you put it anything afterwards, it'll show the link. So now you'll see my link is pnuk.co rather than paulnicholson.com forward slash time management. Now also, if I go to my page on Twitter on a different account and it eventually loads and then I click on it the beauty of Bitty is it should be giving you live stats on your links right so if I come back here it's going to show me that that one time management and motivation PNUK 
has had one click, one total click, which we know is from Paul Nicholson's Twitter, Paul Nicholson M ME Twitter. So you get more t stats on Bitty than just sharing it from your website, but you also get a smaller URL. So if you, it's really good for emails. If you, if I wanted to email somebody that that um, page, time management thingy, then I can just go back and copy the, um, the 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 short URL and then email someone. So now you check this link out rather than it being a massive link in an email. So I think you get what I'm saying. I think you can see how easy it is to do where instead of your link saying uh, bitty or bit.ly and then something, you can actually change it to a shorter version of your your own URL. So I hope that helped. I hope it makes sense. Any questions, come on over to paulnicholson.com. Uh, ask your questions away. If you come, you will see the Q&A section. Feel free to jump in, sign up, and ask any questions. I'll help as much as I can. Um, and I hope that helps. Um, uh, hosting for the domain was happymehosting.com. Um, if you send me a message, I'll give you cost pricing. Uh, a nice discount for watching my video on YouTube. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Speak to you all again soon. Thanks, guys.